So chocolate is usually an incredibly exciting topic and it is an incredibly exciting topic tonight, but I do have a little bit of bad news to deliver tonight that I'm not looking forward to delivering, but hey, somebody's got to do it. And you learn, this is the Weight Loss Intensive Insiders. We are learning deep stuff, stuff that other people don't really know and the media hasn't totally picked up on. So let's go to our slides. I got breaking news. There's lead and cadmium, it says, could be in your dark chocolate. That was the lead to this Consumer Reports article that came out in 2022 of a study where they decided to check chocolate and check chocolate for heavy metals. Heavy metals being arsenic or, which arsenic, there's no arsenic in it, um, checking heavy metals for mercury. There's no mercury in it. But chocolate has cadmium and lead in it. What are you talking about? Now, those are three links to three articles that will make your head spin. I have spent the last two days studying these, reading these, reading them over and over and over. One was done in 2022 with an update to it. And then the next one was done in 2023. And then you're looking at where they picked off on and you're looking at that. And then the Food Revolution Network. Um, I love Ocean Robbins. If you don't subscribe to his free uh, email newsletter, I think you should. Um, really great stuff. And a big shout out to Chris Lee for... Uh, saying in the Facebook page, please, are you going to talk about this? Yes, yes, we're definitely going to address this because it's scary stuff. And um, it is scary stuff, what I'm about to tell you. And I'm amazed that their article says could be, lead and cadmium could be in your dark chocolate. That as far as their studies reveal, there wasn't a single one that didn't have cadmium. And it it's like, uh, does have at least cadmium or lead in every chocolate. Yes, it, it is. All right, are you sitting down? Are you sitting down, ladies and gentlemen? This is per consumer's report. And the red is bad. And this is a bunch of chocolates that you look at and go, yeah, yep, I've eaten that. Yep, lint. Yep, I've eaten that. Lilies, I've eaten that. Not anymore because I'm avoiding the erythritol now. I used to recommend erythritol, but not anymore. And you're like looking at this going, yeah, that's, that's scary. So these are high in lead. And then you look at these and these are high in cadmium and they're per ounce. If you ate more than an ounce, if you, that might be like a third of the bar. If you ate all of the bar, you would get three times these amounts. Yeah, that's, that's, that's scary. Here's high in both lead and cadmium. Oh, like a dagger through my heart. I mean, that green and blacks organic dark chocolate. I've always felt so virtuous when I, spend the extra money for that. And so organic is not a sign of avoiding this. Organic is not a sign of avoiding this. But safer choices, here are some safer choices. But nothing is zero. And this is one ounce. So if you see like some of these, if you ate the whole bar, you would be over. And that's just one chocolate incidence, right? And so I think we really need to be thinking about how much, one ounce, maybe a half. I'm going to show you recipes. Krista and I have worked so hard to create amazing dark chocolate recipes that are just a half ounce per serving. And you get the, all the yummy happiness and the sugar is really low. The fats are really low. Like it's healthy in all those ways. And so how we can get the best from dark chocolate without the bad. And one thing this has done is it's really taught me, like I have extra resolve now to, to not let myself unconsciously eat a whole bar of these, you know, like I'm like on it now. I don't know about you, but I hope this gives you added resolve to be on it. And, um, some other, uh, milk chocolate results. These are some milk chocolate choices that are, if you want to go to milk chocolate, I'm not going to milk chocolate because even though it's lower, I, I know that like maybe for kids and stuff, it's less of a concern and, and they like that better anyway. So fine, but I'm not going to it because it's sweet and addictive. And I, and I have a really hard time eating a, a, an ounce. I just find it harder. So, but again, gear deli, I want you to know that I ran out and, um, Scott, you can take it off for a second. I, was reading this and I immediately ordered these online <laughs> because I'm like, okay, we're going to have some healthy chocolate. And it came in the mail and the instant it came in the mail, what did my husband do? Him. <laughs> he got into this chocolate 
And I just want to show you how much he ate. I want to show you. I'm very proud of him. He ate one square, which is one eighth of three and a half ounces. One eighth of three and a half ounces. Do the math. That's less than a half ounce. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's he only ate a half ounce. These need to last us in our house a very, 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 very long time. But I'm going to show you some really cool recipes today, how you can just get a half or to a quarter of an ounce into people. And they think they had a lot of chocolate and it's dark chocolate and it's paired with more things like berries and good things. And remember, fruit is our first dessert choice, right? Fruit. And maybe add a little bit of dark chocolate to it, but then you won't eat all that dark chocolate because you have fruit with it, right? So there are some cool things. And then let's talk about cocoa powder because you know, Krista and I, we love us our cocoa powder. Now, I didn't put this brand on there. This is from this is from Aldi. So I have no idea what's in this, but I sure enough jumped on in the internet and bought me two big giant bags of this stuff right here because it was number one on the list. So I got me some of this, but as you can see, it's not zero, it's not zero, but it's based on one tablespoon and one tablespoon is a really good a, a good amount. So there is some lead, 77%, um, low in cadmium comparatively. Nestle, good choice, but look below that. Hershey's cocoa is not such a great choice. Low in cadmium, um, lower in cadmium than the Nestle. So you can see that there's an issue here. Fortunately, I don't think we OD on cocoa powder. We use cocoa powder to make some amazing things. It comes out to be about a half to less than a half a tablespoon per person. So I really think the amount is enough. And if you're not eating cocoa chocolate every day, then I think that's fine. Um, but it, it does, you know, I wouldn't make a hot cocoa with a full tablespoon of cocoa, of cocoa powder like every day. Um, I might think about that. So that is definitely this information is making us change up what we do and think about dark chocolate. Um, so just wanted to share that with you. So what else? Um, what else we got? Chocolate chips. Oh boy. It gets more depressing. This is what really got me. Uh, I did go out and buy some Ghirardelli. I, oh, typically that is the, what I buy. It's the best choice here. Nestle's not too bad. And then 365 Whole Foods Market, not too bad. Um, Lilies, um, they're notorious for erythritol and stevia sweetened, so lower in sugar, but I'm not recommending erythritol anymore. Um, so I don't recommend Lilies anymore for that reason. And then you have Kirkland, you have Enjoy Life. Those, all these, you know, are really pretty okay though. I mean, these are pretty okay. And then we're going into Target got into the over 100% and um, Hugh got over 100. Now remember this percent is the percent of what you're allowed in a daily allowance. Okay. Um, that maximum level set by California, our federal government, you know, they haven't come up with the values and maybe California is way too strict, you know, like maybe, but Really, I think we all feel like that they've done, their scientists have done a good job in giving us a number um, to bank against. So the thing is, I want to share with you that these numbers are going to change. Like, it's not like this and this forever. They're, they're getting their cocoa is coming from, I mean, it's, it's changing. The numbers are changing. And this is just a spot in time check. It doesn't mean that these brands are going to be these numbers forever. So I wanted to mention that. I did come across this chocolate company that um, they sweeten it with dates. So there's zero sugar added and they don't use erythritol. They don't use stevia. It's just sweetened with dates. And I'm looking at it going, wow, zero added sugar is sweetened with dates. And it's either 63 or 67% dark chocolate across all their line. And I'm looking at it and it's organic. And so I emailed the guy and I go, I'm, I, I like the looks of your product. It looks really good. I said, but how often do you test for cadmium and lead? And he replied back, every single batch. And we, every single batch must be way below those, those limits um, before we can use it. Doesn't mean it's zero, but it's low, like the ones that we've been seeing low. But remember, what's the serving size? One ounce, not one bar, one ounce. These bars are two and a half ounces each. Now they're not inexpensive. And, but knowing that you only get one ounce helps the inexpensive, the expensiveness, right? Because a bar is going to last you. So here's my bottom line. 
certainly opt for the brands that consumer reports found to be the lowest or the nutsola. I, I think either one of those I think is I think are great choices. But a new resolve for portion control, even low, has some cadmium and lead. So no more than one ounce of dark chocolate or one tablespoon of chocolate chips. Okay. I need to have a little heart to heart with you here. I need to just like, what? Have you ever eaten more than a handful of chocolate chips one time? Like, were you having a bad day and open up those chocolate chips and or is it just me? Okay. And true confessions here, I have done that on countless occasions. And I want you to know that that is never happening again. Lead and cadmium have me stopped in my tracks. And for one thing, I'm grateful because I kind of needed something. And this is going to be the something. I want to tell you the story really quick. And that is, I have never been good at flossing my teeth. I go to the dentist, I have a good checkup, my teeth are good. And they're like, yeah, you know, yeah, do you plus? You know, I'm like, huh, you know, hit me. I'm always good after I leave here and then I, I don't do it. And, and I try and I just forget and I just wasn't good at it. So I had this one dentist, he showed me my x-rays, my gums and my teeth and my bones, the bones holding out of my teeth. And he said to me, he goes, how many of you, how do you want to keep all your teeth or just, you know, how do you, do you care about your teeth? Do you, do you care if you lose some teeth? And I go, no, I don't want to lose any teeth. And he goes, well, let me show you something. He goes, I can tell that you're not flossing. He goes, because you're having bone loss in your jaw where it holds your teeth in. And see those germs are, and when you floss, that helps remove those germs and it helps preserve the bone and where your teeth and your roots go in. And when that, we just, there's nothing we can do. You're, you're on track for losing teeth here and let, you know, flossing every night is the thing that's going to help prevent that for you. And you can floss in the morning instead, if you want, or at night, either time, but once a day, you get to knock that plaque out. I looked at that doctor and I said, I'll floss every night for the rest of my life. I went to the dentist the next time. I'm like, he goes, how you doing? I go, so done with that habit. That habit is so done. Like I floss every single night and I haven't missed a night in eight years since he gave me that. That I, I go, no other dentist. Every other dentist has said to me, you should floss because it's good for you. But I always have a good checkup. And it's ever like, you know, when he showed me bone loss in my jaw, deal over. That habit was so done. And I'm telling you right now, these chocolate chips that I bought a gigantic bag of, <laughs> because they were the lowest on the list, I will never, ever eat more than a tablespoon at one time, ever again, because there's lead and cadmium but I'm not going to not eat them because I'm going to eat them. I'm going to have them the way they're supposed to be enjoyed in m m m m moderation. That word we have such a hard time. With. How about you? Is this habit so done? Mine is. Mine is. Lead and cadmium aren't going to get me. No way moderation and i'm not going to have chocolate every day i i've been known to have chocolate most days of the week i'm not it's not going to happen these chocolate that we bought is going to last a long time